just stood at the empty hole and scratched my head. The two police officers at my side also had no explanation for this. I turned to them. You were at the entrance to the cemetery all night? One nodded. And you walked around inside the whole time. The second one also nodded. I also made my rounds. How in the name of God did another body get stolen when all three of us were here all night? How long do you think it would take to dig up that hole? One of the cops asked. By hand? A couple of hours at least, and they couldn't have used heavy machinery. I think we would have spotted or heard that right away. This is the third one this week, the first cop said looking sick. Twelve in total, I added. This isn't even that big of a cemetery. One thing's for sure. It's only the fresh ones that get taken. Anyone that gets buried in the morning is gone the next day. Coffin and all. That's what gets me, the first officer said at last. There's no way they got the coffin out the front gate. My patrol car was blocking the whole thing. And that's the only entrance. This place is surrounded by a ten foot tall iron gate. It sure didn't just heave a fully loaded coffin over the fence. I nodded. I swallowed hard and said, This is gonna look bad on us. We need to take drastic measures. Or all three of us will be out of a job. But what can we do? The second officer said after a pause. I have a plan. So we got to work. As the only cemetery employee, I had access to most of what we needed in. The police officers came up with the rest. Okay, I said at last, looking at the coffin. I have a GPS, a gun, two oxygen tanks, a cell phone, a flashlight, a walkie-talkie, and with the holes I drilled in the coffin and filled with clear plexiglass, I can see out from the inside. Are you sure about this? They asked. I nodded. Bury me. I have all that I'll need to survive the night. If nothing happens, you guys get me out in the morning. If I get taken, then the GPS, gun, and the peepholes will know who took us and how. So we got to work and put me in the ground. It was boring, to say the least. I almost fell asleep a few times, but about two in the morning, I saw a bright flash of light, and I was disoriented at first. Then I could hear it. Voices. I looked out one of my peepholes and soon wished I hadn't. They weren't human. One walked up and patted the coffin. Should we open this one up? It asked. No, replied the other. They're worth more mitten box. I looked into the people and it smiled at me. At least, I think it smiled. Hey, it said excitedly. This one's still moving. What a rare treat. We'll be the envy of all the other collectors. It's true what they say. No one in space can hear you scream. <laughs>